But I'm not giving my stilettos up for anybody and at five foot ten in my bare feet. In my heels, I'm I'm six foot two. In wow. My uh, yeah, exactly. And I mean, so Janice, tell me how do you feel when you meet a guy and you're strutting your stuff and you're standing there looking gorgeous in like six, all six foot two of you <laughs> and he comes and he's five foot eight. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Does that make him well, feel uncomfortable? You know, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, I love men. I love, it. I love all you men out there. <laughs> Please don't think that I don't. Um, Men that are shorter than myself, and you know, I embrace all men in all packages, whether they come smaller, whether they come smaller. <laughs> I don't mind, you know, like I said, beautiful people from inside that's what counts. But you know, the shorter men seem to love us tall women, and the higher the heels we're wearing, the taller we are, they seem to love that even more. I think so. men like to climb up. <laughs> Truth in that as well, yeah, I do. Yeah. And you know, I have to bring the attention to the shoe shopping. I mean, every girl loves shoe shopping. Mm. And we, we go into the shop, we see a pair of shoes that we want, and immediately out comes the credit card and we go and buy them. Mm. Regardless of whether the shoe is actually made well, the shoe may not even be stable, it yes. may not even be the right size. Yeah, yeah. that's true because I can vouch for that myself, and I'm, you know, I probably am guilty as well of, you know, buying heels. However, sometimes they do feel a bit, the heel does feel a bit wobbly, and especially if you're walking on um, a slippery surface, you feel as though the heel's going one way, the sole's going the other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a good look. And do you know what? <laughs> you being a model, you know this most of all. I that's why that. a oh. lot of catwalk models I've will that actually catwalk. fall. Have you fallen on the I have fallen on the Oh, I had a little trip, I've done a little trip yes. and I've started out, I've started out, so that's when my acting's yeah. coming to <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but sometimes, you know, that's not necessarily, you know, the woman's fault, it, that could be the manufacturer. It could be the shoe yeah. itself, and yes, that's why so. I encourage women, look, do the rocking test on the shoe, don't just go and buy the shoe, even if you love the shoe and it's the most delicious shoe you've ever seen, if the shoe is unstable and it rocks, if it rocks, you drop. So don't even buy, you know, don't that? even think, yes, if it, if it rocks, rocks, you, you drop. drop. Yeah. So don't put yourself at risk. We're talking about health and safety yes. here now. Yeah. We're talking about us ladies That's around right. the world getting it right in here. That's right. And being able to walk in them with, with a much more confident, upright posture. No, I, I implore any woman out there just to get behind the heel, embrace the heel, and be confident about wearing them, no matter how tall you are, how, how, you know, if you're on the smaller side, or, if, you know, if you are carrying a bit of weight, even more reason to wear the heel and to elongate yourself and to feel more elegant, womanly and graceful.